I was going that day to sign a lease on this place on Lincoln Avenue and um, my cousin called me and he said this is your lucky day meet me right now on Clark Street and I said oh I'm going to sign a lease he goes don't go come right now and meet me on Clark Street and I walked into this building and he said to me I'm thinking of buying some things on Clark Street if you like this building I'll buy it and I walked around and I said yes yes this will do just beautifully and I thought oh my god this is incredible and he said okay it's yours you know back then you walked to this building and there was like oh you know, it's it's yeah. really like, you know, mom and pop shop almost like, it's like, oh, I was, I was told to come here? Great. Wow, this is very small for something that's so famous. And it's also kind of like, you know, paint's peeling a little bit, but it has character. <laughs> like, I was like expecting this like, polished big place but that's part of the charm of this place too is it's got that like kind of like worn underground type feel you just feel the history when you walk in here and you see the the pictures of people when you walk in and but it just feels it, it's a place where you feel like it's home when you walk in it has like this this energy in the building uh, that a lot of places can't replicate I feel so lucky to perform with like my good friends and at a place where like supports me doing something different. But it is, it's just that magic thing, oh, I'm gonna come here and I probably don't know the box office person super well, but I know I can pause and have a conversation with them and go downstairs, I'm gonna run into someone I know, or upstairs, it's, there's, it's a safe haven. You walked in and you immediately felt like it was a very welcoming place. Like it was like, it's that, it's that thing that, that, that you like, you walk in and you go, I feel welcome here. As busted as it can be of like, well, this chair looks about 35 years old and that chair's brand new. Everything has character here. I feel like the color scheme is like the first thing that really hits you because you don't get a, a purple that profound in your life usually. It's kind of a crappy building. It's kind of in a crappy sort of location. It's kind of in the worst place for you to put an improv theater. But like that crappiness sort of serves as a compliment and I think it also toughens and calluses up uh, the things that go on here. The coolest part about this building is that it's a bunker in the middle of madness. That can, <laughs> it's only for artists, you know, it's only for us. I think that everyone knows it's a safe zone. Nothing has made me less of a Cubs fan than living in Wrigleyville for 10 years. Getting here, it really is like the, the amazing, you know, home in the middle of a, a, a mound of shit. I think everybody has stories about drunk Cubs fans doing stupid things. After a class, we went out for drinks, uh, and on their way back, the one guy just kind of like fell behind, and we looked at him and he goes, guys, stop. Do you realize we're gonna be famous? <laughs> because he goes, do you feel it? We're doing it, man, we're gonna be famous. And we're like, okay, great. And like, we just- What was his name? I don't remember. <laughs> Anyone that has any fears about being bad at improv, don't worry. Everyone's sucked at it. I think that that's kind of the beauty of what it is, is that you walk in being like, I've got this, bro. It was a lot like throwing like a baby that doesn't know how to swim into a pool. You know, it's either going to like make it or just like go to the bottom. And I hit rock bottom. In my first scene, I tried to create a problem to make something funny. And in doing it, I seemed like I had never been to planet Earth before. Uh, like somebody was breaking in my apartment, and I was like, yeah, great. What if I also gave you this stuff? That was right out of the gate, like the first scene I ever did. Okay. I sucked right in front of the woman yeah. who uh, owned the theater. So I thought like, oh, well, I'm dead. I'll never be on the scene again. <laughs> I think the moment for me was we, we did the Armando. We created the Armando, Dell and I and Keckner and Adam McKay. We wanted something where we could do monologues together and kind of prove and disprove theories. So we decided that would be our main show. So we opened up with that. And um, I remember there was a line down the block a line down the block and people were just like there was just mobs and it's like and I'm telling you we came from places where we'd stand outside going please come see your show here's a flyer please come see your show so to see that I was like oh my god this is this is gonna work this is this is